Hey guys, how's here bringing you another video. So welcome to uh, the brand new game mode, Odyssey Extraction. So this is kind of a exclusive, I'd say, first look at the game mode. Uh, a bunch of UK uh, LOL YouTubers were invited recently to go to Riot and record a bunch of footage early. Unfortunately, I was a little bit ill on the actual recording day, so I couldn't make it. Um, so they actually sent me a bunch of a bunch of footage to use. And we're just going to have this game on in the background while I explain what the game mode is. From what I can tell, it's pretty damn cool. Again, I haven't played it personally. It is coming tomorrow on live servers. This game mode is actually skipping the PBE. It's going straight onto live servers. Uh, and it's very similar if you ever played the Star Guardian PvE mode. It's it's like that, but it's from what I can tell, it's quite a bit better. They've improved it and uh, made it into a experience you actually are encouraged to play it often and more of, uh, which we'll get into a little bit later. Furthermore, just to explain, over the next few weeks, we are going to be doing an exclusive giveaway. Uh, recently, I've obviously Riot announced the uh, partner program. Uh, that we are, are not officially in yet, but we're basically getting benefits from it already. That I have been given 50 keys for an exclusive icon that you only can get through. Or sorry, emote, sorry. An exclusive emote that you only can get through official Riot partners. Um, so I'll explain how we do that probably at the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the new game mode. So again, the footage isn't on the background. That's just going to be playing as we talk about the game mode. So as I mentioned, it's a PvE game. Um, so that means player versus environment, no player versus player. So this is just like a little bit more casual, but still is quite challenging, especially on the harder difficulties I've been told. And uh, you, we can break it down to different categories. So as for the characters that you can play in this mode, it is limited, I believe, to Yasuo, Jinx, Malphite, Sona and Ziggs, who make up the crew uh, of kind of like the Guardians of the Galaxy type ship that these guys are part of. Um, and they all are completely, well not completely different, they are buffed up comparing to what their normal self is uh, on the normal Summoner's Rift. So for example, Ziggs has 10% healing for all of his damage dealt, 50% uh, ultimate cooldown reduction, he's got 10% bonus ability power and plus 15 mana regen per second. So that's just, he's a buffed up Ziggs and all of the champions have more buffs than they normally would have. Uh, it makes you feel a little bit more like OP in the game mode, I guess. Uh, also, uh, in, in this game mode, there is something called Augments, and this is what I actually encourage you guys to play more of the game mode. So as you play the game mode, you can actually unlock different Augments for champions. For example, like for the Yasuo character, if you uh, unlock the Augment called Burst, uh, your Wind Wall moves further and grants allies to pass through it crit, AP, and movement speed. So it's giving allies a buff if they actually walk through your wind wall. And there's like, I don't know, 10 or so augments per character. Um, or fi No, there's actually 15. I just confirmed. So there's 15 augments per character. So it de definitely encourage you guys to, you know, play multiple times. You can equip six augments, I think, at a time. And, uh, you know, it it's a bit more specialization. League's never had that before. So it's pretty damn cool in that respect. Uh, as for summoner spells, there's a couple new summoner summon spells in this game mode. One is called Warp. Turn briefly untargetable and invulnerable as you dash towards a location. It holds three charges and every, it recharges every 15 seconds. Uh, resuscitate. Revive a fallen crewmate by standing next to them for two seconds. So that's pretty damn cool. You also can get some uh, friendlies in this game mode. So you can get Aura Bot. Because again, the uh, point of this game mode, by the way, is collecting ore. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. It's collecting ore. Like again, it's called Odyssey Extraction. So you're extracting things from where you've been like kind of put on the planet. So you can get a little, uh, cute little robot that Ziggs made. Uh, he helps you gather aura, sorry, uh, and lets you uh, buy things between rounds. Um, so it's kind of like the store type of thing. And also portal zone. When you clear an era, uh, area, aura bot opens this uh, zone up, stand in it to go to the next room. So you do move to different rooms. Uh, there are power-ups and collectibles throughout Aura. Uh, this is what we're after. Collect enough of the Aura and the bot will allow you to move on to the next area. And obviously, as you move on to the next areas, the opponents get harder and harder. Um, you know, that type of thing. Uh, and there's, you know, different things that you'd expect. There's like a health pickup. There's a gold pickup um, and all that type of thing. So there are obviously hazards. Uh, there are destructible walls that you have to break. There's darkness that you don't know where your allies are. So if you're playing with friends, you can communicate. Hey, where are you? Uh, there's egg frenzies. So like, these little annoying things that spawn like crazy. You've got to take them out really quick before like actual enemies spawn from the eggs. So there's, there's a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to go through everything, but there's a lot going on. The actual enemies themselves are kind of... They are unique, but they have similarities to other champions in League. So some of them look like Cogmore, some look like Kha'Zix, some look like Vel'Koz. There's a like Skarna look-alike. Um, but they all got like different 
strengths and weaknesses. Some of them have like low damage and high health. Some of them have high damage, low, uh, low, you know, the opposite. Uh, and some of them are all around just really annoying to deal with. And obviously the actual bad guy of this game mode is Kane, uh, who is the enemy to the crew uh, that you are actually playing as. Um, so this game mode, it looks a bunch of fun. And again, you're encouraged to play more of it um, because, you know, you can earn more of those traits. And again, it has different levels of difficulty. So you want to try and, you know, earn the, the highest difficulty. And this, by the way, is coming with a, a whole new event that is unlocking new skins, uh, new missions. Uh, and the idea behind it, and again, I haven't really said why Riot are doing this. So the idea behind it from while I've been kind of told here and there uh, is... League of Legends in itself can be a little bit of a frustrating game every now and then. I'm sure we all can agree to that. Uh, and losing isn't great, uh, especially when you're like, you know, playing PvP against other players. Sometimes it can get a little bit stressful. So having more open PvE modes, player versus environment modes, it allows players, if even if they're in a bit of a stressed, tilted mindset, they can go into this game mode and have even still have fun. Uh, that they're not feeling the pressure of playing against other humans. They're just, you know, coordinating themselves in kind of like a raid, uh, kind of like work from World of Warcraft in a League of Legends sense. So this is something that I think Riot are going to do more of in the future. And again, unfortunately, I can't tell you what my experience of the game mode is like personally, because again, I didn't play it. This is just footage I got early, but I can, uh, you know, these things are going to happen more early access to record things it's going to happen more and more so there'll definitely be a time that i do go to these recording sessions and i will know firsthand what it's like uh, but now we can actually get into the exclusive emote um that you guys can win so on the screen now i'll put up the emote that's exclusive to uh, partnered lol channels um, and I, by the way, I do not know if this is just for the ones that I'm aware of. Uh, I don't know if anybody in Europe has been given these. I don't know if anybody in North America has been given these. The only people I'm aware have that been given these are UK channels that I think, I'll name them off the top of my head, is me, Firefox, um, Ross Boomsox, Skin Spotlights, uh, Kiandi Mundi, and I think Profesco. I think those are the only people that have been given this. Uh, I, I haven't heard like other people. And that we each have been given 50 codes to give away. They are exclusive, sorry, to EU West, because we're on EU West, our codes are locked to EU West. So over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be giving this away. And even if you're not a big emote person, remember, this is completely exclusive. You cannot get this any other way other than winning uh, it from one of my giveaways so we're going to be giving them away in youtube videos uh, so tomorrow's climb to master we're going to be giving away some there i'm going to be giving away some of my twitch going to be giving away on some social media i'm going to be doing it over the next few weeks and i'd say this is a kind of experiment to uh, the partner program because the idea of the partner program is they're going to be giving away chromas and skins that are also exclusive to the partners um so it's it's really cool um so i'll probably change my you know beginning emote and end of the game emote to this because uh, you know i like rare stuff uh, and i also by the way will be playing a bunch of this on stream tomorrow um so make sure you come check out the stream tomorrow we'll also be giving emotes away tomorrow's stream specifically because obviously it makes sense to give away the emotes while the new game mode is here that's the whole point um so yeah check out the stream tomorrow uh twitch.tv slash fuzzy games probably gonna give away um maybe around 10 skins tomorrow or 10 emotes tomorrow uh roughly uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the new game mode. I'm pretty hyped for it. I, I, it's just going to be nice to have an alternative game mode to play that's like not PvP in League of Legends. Uh, and what I'll do, I don't know how I'm going to end the video, uh, whether I just end the video here or I just continue playing some of the footage if the game is close to ending, maybe that's what I'll do. But anyway, like the video. Uh, again, if you're happy that we're kind of getting these exclusive first looks, then, you know, you can say that as well because I'm pretty happy about it myself. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. You didn't say the magic word.
the screw of the Morning Star. I won't forget what happened here, and I will return. 